Well, my name is Paul Hare. I'm the uh, Robert E. Wilhelm Fellow here at the MIT Center for International Studies, which is a fellowship for former government officials, both U.S. and foreign, actually. And I qualify for that because I retired from the federal government. I worked for the U.S. intelligence community for the CIA for 31 years. I spent the last eight years of that career uh, as the National Intelligence Officer for East Asia in the DNI's office, the Director of National Intelligence. I actually didn't start my career as an East Asia specialist. Uh, I was a diplomatic historian uh, with a master's degree from the University of Iowa when I was hired by CIA. And I started working on East Asia simply because that's where they needed somebody at the time. Uh, so my experience with East Asia was pretty much on the job. After retiring there, I came to MIT for, for a number of reasons. One, I'd always wanted to pursue an academic career after my uh, career in government. I also was very familiar with several members of the faculty here at the Center for International Studies, including Dick Samuels, Taylor Frabel, and others who worked on East Asia issues. The main thing I'm working on here at MIT is I'm trying to turn my doctoral dissertation into a book. I'm working on both historical and, and, uh, and contemporary East Asian issues. Uh, the book project, as I said, is based on my dissertation, uh, which was on George F. Kennan's role in East Asia policymaking. He's widely known as a specialist uh, diplomat on Russian affairs uh, and as the intellectual father of containment policy toward the Soviet Union. Uh, but mine is the first kind of exclusive examination of his work on, uh, on East Asia. But I'm also working on some other contemporary uh, topics uh, on China and regional relations. I'm very much interested in the historical context of the security dynamics that are evolving in East Asia today the rise of China, the implications of that for the other countries in the neighborhood, and for the role of the United States in the region. And I think that story is where a lot of important developments are occurring now, and I think that it's as much about the rest of the region as it is about China, because I think the historical context of the other countries' views of both China and the United States during this period is where a lot of the future of East Asian relations is heading, and there's a lot of uncertainty there because of historical shifts in the balance of power. I'm also seizing the opportunity, as I was encouraged to, to lecture, even though it's primarily a research fellowship with no uh, direct teaching responsibilities. I've been a guest lecturer at several courses and in different institutions, uh, both at MIT and in other places in town at Harvard and Boston University and Tufts. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to do more of that as well. One of the things that was very useful to me during my government career was to realize how valuable it is for government analysts, particularly in the intelligence community, to interact with people in the academic community. I was in deeply engaged both as an analyst at CIA and then especially as the National Intelligence Officer of East Asia and what we uh, in the government called outreach to experts in the private sector and the academic community, uh, which was certainly the basis for a lot of the relationships that brought me here to MIT. Uh, but I found that to be immensely valuable as a vehicle for informing, uh, having other experts really inform our analysis uh, of East Asian developments for folks in the policy community. And I, you know, I strongly encourage uh, students in programs like uh, the Security Studies program here uh, and elsewhere uh, to pursue interaction with folks, analysts in the intelligence community, uh, and certainly careers there because it's this kind of expertise that's particularly valuable to have represented.